With our Smart IFC Exporter, you can export out an IFC three different ways. We can export out just the geometry, so there's no data attached in the IFC. We can export out the geometry plus the data that's already on each individual item. And the last way is to map it. So that is exporting out the geometry with the data, but also mapping it to say pipes or pipes, elbows or elbows, and so on. So I'll demonstrate one of these anyway. So with the IFC exporter, it always exports whatever you have shown on screen. So if you don't want to export everything in the model, then I suggest turning it off. So let's go ahead and we'll grab a few items here and we're going to just turn around and we'll uh, hide unselected. So that's all I'm going to export out. And I'll do the final one, the map. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to go out. We can specify the project name, the organization, site name, building name, author, and also use the model and site transform if found. So if it's at a different coordinate system, we're just going to go OK. It's going to go through. It's going to export this out. So we'll just leave it as this. Um, it's going to be a CADWorks export IFC example. Uh, we'll actually add a number to it. So let's add a two and we'll go save. So this is going to go ahead and export this out. OK, it's almost finished and there's done. It says it took it seven seconds, so we're just going to go OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up that IFC file that I just exported out. So we're going to go open file here. We're going to change our format here to IFC. And this is the one I just did here. You can see there I've got the two and there's today's date. I'm going to go open and I'm not going to save this. And I'm just going to show you what this IFC file looks like. And this is the one where I exported out the geometry. I exported out the data and I also ex mapped them. So if we expand out here in our tree. OK, so there you can see it says flow segment. There's some fittings in here. Um, if I select on one of these items in the model here, you can see I included the CADWorks data with that item itself. Uh, we can go into, say, like an elbow, the same thing. I have all that data there, and it's actually come in as a flow segment. If I didn't map these, these will all, would all say generic objects.